This is Dr. Priscilla Lenora Miles, and I was thinking about how you can be really into the ministry, the assignment uh, that God has placed in your life, and someone can come in and just put a damper on it and, and encourage you in some sort of way or trigger you to have doubt in what you're doing. Yes, that's happened to me because... I'm not going viral, and because I'm not going viral, then obviously your ministry is not all that great. But let me tell you something. Whomever listens to the word that God gives to me to encourage others, as long as the right person hears it, that's all that matters. I don't care if it goes viral or not. I'm more concerned about the soul that is listening to this video. I have always encouraged and, and guided couples uh, and individuals in relationships to always involve God in their relationship. What does God say about it? How is he leading you? How is he guiding you? What did he say about the situation? Those are the type of questions I ask. And I know you have an answer because the majority of people that I speak to, I try to speak to is the body of Christ. I don't care if you're a babe or uh, a long time senior veteran, you know, we all need help and guidance in our relationships and especially when it comes to having God in the midst of it. You can shout, you can praise, you can go, go to church every Sunday, but if you don't take that word, if you don't take what you've learned, if you don't embed it within your heart, your soul, and your mind in order for your relationship when you speak to other people let it touch you when you speak to other people then what are you doing with the word you letting it go to go to not you're vo avoiding it you're you're allowing someone else uh, to change your whole perspective on your relationship which is going downhill instead of towards the hill of god we can't allow others to have consolation over uh, over our lives and and to to lead us and 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 have the power over our lives uh making us feel like we're nobody or nothing i had to believe that when i when they were saying when people say maybe you need to change the way you talk maybe you need to change this maybe you need to change that how about you do your own ministry and let god lead me to do mine how about that so i had to get the 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 power back i had to get the anointing back and the only way to do that is to step aside away from what other people are saying they don't have control of my behavior they don't have control of my ministry they didn't lead me and guide me in the direction that god is doing so you have to feel the same way not only in your ministry but in your relationship and in your personal belief in yourself and I had to look, this is what God gave me in order for the, me to understand the personal belief in myself, in my relationships, and what I'm doing in my ministry. And he took me to Joshua 1 verse 9. And it says, have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid. Nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Whatever you go, whatever you do. One, ver one verse says something about not to be intimidated. You heard what God commanded you. Do what you're supposed to do. So when someone comes up to you and want to discourage you about the ministry that you have, listen to me. Take it from somebody that's been through it, done that several times. I'm asking you, what did God say? Yes, the word of God is what we need to follow. But God also speaks to us. He prompts us. He guides us. He leads us. 
What did he say to you? Follow that. Don't be discouraged. Don't be intimidated. God has a plan for you. Walk in it. So if my video doesn't go viral because someone thinks that I'm not doing it in the way they want me to do it, <laughs> I tell you, and I will tell you like I told them, get your own ministry. Let you see if you can become viral. <laughs> and if you do, God bless you. Because someone is listening to this one. Amen. God bless you.